We're playing Vol Hunters. Uh, season 3 just kicked off four days ago, and I am heavy addicted. If you weren't here yesterday, by the way, we picked up this is our first piece of Valkyr. And is Vol Hunters worth exactly? I haven't really kept up with it. Is it just a mod pack playthrough or what? But Vol Hunters is if you added procedurally generated Vol instances to vanilla Minecraft as like the main challenge. Every vault is its own individual instance. You go in, kill mobs, loot chests, and kill bosses. The material that you get inside of the vault, you can use to build infrastructure in the overworld, and the infrastructure that you build in the overworld can help you inside of the vault. It's a handshake between the two. The ultimate goal in Vault Hunters is to obtain these rare things called artifacts. From killing bosses, there are rare drop or craftable with artifact fragments. These haven't been implemented yet. And if you can get all 25 unique artifacts, you can enter the final vault for a chance to complete the entire pack. New VH season calls. It basically turns Minecraft into an RPG. There's stats page with all the info on here. There's abilities, talents, archetypes. And then resources is how you learn different mods. You have to buy them, basically. Otherwise, you can't access the continents. But continents? You can't fly to the continents that the fucking mods are designating. Basically. Take the oblo, chuck it in here. Pass notes. We're now four days into Volumes 118. Quick reminder, all the gamers of Volumes to be with two to three weeks of balancing things out for the public release. As such, we will be tweaking things back and forth. Things have been made difficult, too difficult at times or too easy at times. We are monitoring everything from recipes to mob scaling to vault behaviors very closely. Uh, Lotus are probably in there somewhere at some point. Uh, Volumes SMP. You may obtain up to three champion statue blocks now. You should obtain more than three. Should you obtain more than three, please discard the excess. And fix rifle sound effects overlapping. No alarm clocks anymore. Plus. Uh, the Vault Additions. Added a snowball throwing attack to Vault Dwellers to combat new pillars. They will only use their snowball and knockback attack if the player is in melee range above them. The values are to be tweaked over the coming days. Added recipe for Elytra. Added proper modifier groups so there's correct faceted... Yeah, that thing being generated. Added proper models for Elite Husks and Drowned Monsters. Added a message for leaving and bailing the Vault. And the Vault Dow... Uh, doll now also accumulates gems from broken ores. So the first thing in the patch notes is to note that uh, it would appear generally to seem that the vault became significantly more difficult since as it's been up until now, the noob pillars have been the only way we can actually kill things without getting killed ourselves. So you might be listening to this and thinking, oh shit, they're making it harder. That's great for all of us playing the public release. Uh, but there's a little bit more to the patch notes, so... Uh, Bear in mind, there's a couple, there's one major change, actually, that I'll get to in a second. Uh, but yeah, bear in mind also that it only happens if the player is within melee range above them. So if you're like seven blocks in the sky, they're not going to snowball you from down on the ground. Changes. Witches can no longer appear in common rooms in lush cave theme. They are now only a challenge room mob. Very nice. Change mana regen from one mana per second to 0.75 mana per second. Will monitor results. Mana and mana regeneration can be modified through Valkyrie prefixes and suffixes. So we have, for example, plus 10 mana on our uh, helmets. There's an interesting thing right there that got nerfed quite a bit. Strays and skeletons can now spawn with a bow. This is a can. It's rarer. It's not common. It's rare, but it can happen. So something to be mindful of. Fire aspect and flame enchantments are removed and existing versions of their effects removed. This is fine. We never cared about this. Slime spawn rates in commoners and lush caves was reduced. Fair enough. Theme pool weight updated. Winter theme is now the more rare, since most difficult. I still haven't ran into a winter theme, but I've only ran like four vaults anyway. Uh, move skill essence from epic plus living chest to rare plus gilded chest and up the amount from one to one to one to three. I haven't gotten one of those yet, but maybe I will now. Change recipe for ore for ended much cheaper for black obels instead of for black chromatic steel ingot. This may not be permanent. Noted. Updated the recipe for the spirit extractor. Still expensive-ish, but not as expensive anymore. Increase delay between mob spawns in common rooms and challenge rooms, so mob spawn is slower. From 180 tick delay to 280 tick delay. This is the big one. So, naturally with the change up here, for snowball and melee to ca combat new pillars, this is the biggest change that is in this update. Because as it stood before, with the pickaxe spawner breaking meta, 
you had to kill mobs within like the first wave of spawns within like two seconds and then immediately hop on that spawner with an efficiency of five pick to break it before the next wave came in if you didn't do that and it started spawning multiple and overpower it, it got to a point where looting that one area could take ages but upping it from a nine second delay to a what would this be uh 14 second delay this is fairly significant i've watched the vault run from this morning you can now take a good few extra seconds to kill some mobs in there and then mine the spawner without really much hassle at all. So yes, mobs are a little bit more difficult now and the noob pillaring is combated against, but less mobs are going to spawn in general. It's still just as dangerous to spawn to run in between two spawner radiuses. So you have like two different mobs coming from different angles. So the strategy I think still remains in that you want to make sure that you're navigating around vaults where you're only going to trigger one spawner at a time. But this is huge. This is a very major nerf to mobs and probably going to make vaults a lot easier now. Um, at least balance out the fact that mobs are more difficult because uh, straight skill doesn't spawn with a bow now and vault dwellers will not have a snowball attack. So it's interesting. But uh, yeah, don't underestimate how long of a difference this is. That's nearly, well, not nearly double, but close to. Uh, lower difficulty of Xmark and Dragon Room spawner settings. Assuming this means that X mark won't be an insta kill if it does spawn mobs on you. Increase the chance of special chests and commoners by 10%. Very cool. I barely found many like gilded or uh, living or ornate chests, so there's going to be a few more of them now. Very nice. Increase the amount of vault ingot and vault ingot materials in ornate chests. Cool. Increase the vault experience gained from mining vault ores inside of the vaults. Hit a mine room, watch that shit go up. Change recipe of vault rock to be one chromatic iron ingot instead of a raw chromatic iron. A little more expensive, but. Uh, makes sense. That's fine. Increase the amount of experience for completing a vault's objective. Don't know what it was prior, but we'll find out what it is now. Increase the chance of wild focus and faceted focus while scrapping a vault gear piece. I don't know exactly how this works, but interesting. And then fixes. Fix the attack range for spiders being too large. Cool. Uh, this was uh, a big problem in the fact that even if you pillared up and did that thing where at the top of you, your pillar, you put one block in front of you so that a spider would kind of like hit the ceiling and not be able to attack you, the spider was still able to hit through it. This probably fixes that. Very huge change. Fix models for axes and swords that are correctly being held in hand. Fix an issue whereby the world map is accessible inside of the vault. Never intended. Fix the witch's poison effect having a longer duration than intended. This is fixed now. Fix the vault timer continuing while all players inside the vault were offline. If you remember day one, that's now changed. Uh, make mending correctly be applicable and work on items that are not vault gear. Very sick. And fix disabled enchantments being obtainable via enchantment table or being applicable via an anvil. You can probably still get these from trading, but I doubt they will do anything. So. There you go. Um, pretty good patch all around. A pretty significant change to the way that vaults are ran, both in terms of how you fight and survive against mobs, as well as loot being generally better. So, uh, yeah. For us only being the fourth day, that's, uh, that's pretty good. That ain't too bad for a day four patch when they've already patched most of those as well, too. So, uh, hey, you know, not a bad swing of things. Anything I need to be doing before going out? Thanks. So. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Silly me. We're talking this much about burgers. Run me up. So here's a here's a conversation to have now, right? Before we go in. I was thinking about saving up two levels to get haste, right? Because we're not gonna be able to get haste until level 10, and that's gonna cost three. But that decision was made when the whole, you know, mobs spawned very quickly, 180 ticks, spawner breaking was the meta for looting. But now it's not really the case anymore. Couches. Not the, not the right thing there, Chief. <laughs> it's just skill points, not research. Um, 
So I might be looking into... I might be looking into something else now. Because with mana regeneration being slower... Reach does not get unlocked until level 10. And that costs two. I would go to reach fairly quickly. Um, I was still considering upping heal, to be honest. Because, I don't know. Nova... I'm not strong enough yet. I don't have a good enough weapon. So this damage is going to be like basically nothing. Vein Miner. Vein Miner, sure, maybe. But I need to still like get into a good looting phase with vaults. I haven't gotten enough vault materials yet. And I just need to make sure I can survive vaults in the first place. Rampage. I don't deal enough damage for it to be viable. Ghost Walk. If I'm healing enough, this should never have to be a problem. Dash is... Dash is only distance 3 to start. I can't see this being that big of a deal, really. Um, Mega Jump, whatever, Mana Shield, execute. These are all things that we can get in later. Tank, Summon Eternal, Hunter. Hunter is for 0.5 seconds at a race of 32. It's just not worth it, I don't feel. Farmer upgrades from... Lower delay, higher range. This is redundant. I don't think it's that big of a problem. Taunt's not important. So for me, it's like, do I want better heal or do I want to wait until I get ha can get haste? Taunt fear seems very strong. So that's haunting you now. Instead of taunting, you now fear the mobs around you in a radius. Fear mob will get pushed away and refuse to attack you for a duration of time. 10 mana cost, 10 second cooldown, radius of 5, duration 4, distance 2. Fear mob will get pushed away and refuse to attack you for a, attack you for a duration of time. I'm trying to think, like, if we use this, right... How would, say we like run up to a chest and it spawns a fighter and a zombie or a, uh, the ghost guy and a fighter or whatever, right? Use taunt and fear, hypothetically. It pushes them away in a radius of five, pushes them away two blocks, but typically they're against a wall already anyway, so they're not too far away. They just get frozen and don't attack you for four seconds. Four seconds isn't enough time to loot every chest there, very likely. Um, cooldown's 10 seconds, so you'd only really ideally do it once per thing. So I feel like... Because I, I am trying to see, because this is a different pitch. Could be a different way of looting. But the two distance and four second duration just seems like if I'm still looting there... They're just going to become unaggroed and start hitting me before I'm able to get away and leave. Mm. Four seconds is a bit. But, like, think about if there's three chests there. Open one, sort, loot, close, move to the next, open. Four seconds is probably already elapsed by that point. Three or four. I'm not going to be able to loot three. And then I have to either deal with the mobs or kill them. Not to mention, by the time that the mobs are unfrozen, the next spawn wave can happen within that time, even though it's slower now. I'm talking about the loot hockey. I'm not talking about the way that I loot. I'm talking about the way that I... the, the hockey. With that. I was thinking to break a spawner. With efficiency 5, with the way that we have it now, I think it's about... because well, it was 180 ticks, it was 9 seconds before. I want to say it takes maybe about six seconds to break a spawner. Roughly around there. Something around that time. Use this while breaking a spawner. You wouldn't be able to do it in time. You wouldn't be able to break a spawner in four seconds. With a 55. It would not happen. And then at that point, you know, you'd have to either just loot and leave or kill the mobs. And if you go over to another area that's a spawner nearby, those mobs are going to follow you. So now you have multiple mobs to deal with. And that prevents... So it's basically... I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't think, uh, you could craft a vault pickaxe, 
I don't have the tools for that right now. <laughs> That's I don't have the tools for that. Just craft a just craft a faster pickaxe for it. <laughs> you have vault scrap, obviously, from all the gear that you've smelted down and aren't using. Just make a faster pick. <laughs> oh, brother. I think um I think it might be waiting. Is it waiting for haste or is it so it's not that. So I waited for haste or getting better heal. Cooldown 8 seconds, mana cost 25. If we have 110 mana as is, that's still four uses. 8 second cooldown. I think... Siri, I'm not talking to you. I think I'm gonna save up for haste for right now, or at least hold on to it. If I run a vault and I get, like, beat to shit and I really need more heal, then I'll probably drop it into heal. But if I'm able to survive and just go for haste, I think that'll be fine. Because, again, haste prevents more mobs from spawning. I'm not really having a difficult time healing for mobs as is. I think we're fine without going another level of haste. Uh, He's in! Oh. What kind of ball is this? Scav, obviously. Which way are we going? North? Interesting. Interesting. Okay. All right. Um. Hello, husks. Got some husky boys here. Okay. Uh, the mobs do spawn. The vault is not broken. Thought I had a freebie for a little bit. Kind of happy that I didn't, but also, you know what I mean. I want to try out the fast sitting thing before. It's fine. Well, uh, surely I will not be stubborn and try out a new looting mechanic after a little bit. Seems quiet. It does seem a little quiet now, don't it? Spawning right there. Stick to the right side. God, you deal some damage, don't you? Ooh. Is it only? Oh, it's not only you! Oh my god, the snowball! Woo! You dickhead, come here! Ow! Fucking hell, man! These guys can... These guys can smooth! Jesus Christ alive! <laughs> Give me like a minute to like maybe uh, think about my life choices for a quick moment. So yeah, the, the stack up thing don't work no more. Good Christ, man. Um, healing... Yeah, the next tier of heal might not be like a terrible thing, all things considered. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. That was, uh, that was spooky. I was just kind of hoping that two of them weren't trapped, but here we are today. Must have to manhandle those guys. Kiting seems tough. I mean, that's kind of what I realized I needed to do after a second there. I was like, okay, these guys are going to um, clap my cheeks really quickly here. Yeah, the mana regeneration as well, too. No waypoints, no world map, no NC radar. I was posting effects now. <laughs> Interesting. Oh my god, he bailed three times. What a guy. Um, I'm gonna skip the chest down there and just wait for my mana to regenerate up a little bit while I go to an area that maybe is a better loot, possibly? Seems like an idea for uh, the immediate time. Can you skill up in vaults? I mean, like, use a skill point? I don't think so, because it says I don't have any skill points available. So I'm assuming that being able to do that is not permitted. Modifying anything about your class inside of a vault has always been something that they've not really wanted um, to be a thing. You have a gilded chest. Hey there, bud. Hey. Gildeds! Man! Oh, come on, dude! Yeah, take that, you dickhead. 
Whoa. Hey, you know what? I should start using my bow and arrow a little bit more, too. That's one thing that I haven't really been thinking about too much. The bow and arrow is kind of nice, right? Ooh, what is that? One crystal cave and a spider charm. Okay. Well, I don't need that for anything. Hold on one second. Hey, back up. Back off me. I mean, it deals damage. That's one thing that it does. My bow and arrow does deal damage. It's kind of a crazy concept. Oh, shit! Huge W. What the fuck? Huh? Oh, is, it, is that an elite boy? That's a big ass boy right there. God damn, so I'm assuming that the elite spawns a horde around him. Very interesting. Cool. Where the hell did you come from? Maybe they don't spawn from spawners. Maybe they're just natural spawns. Interesting. I don't know the exit for this, to be honest. Damn, I'm scared a little bit running through vaults, aren't I? I just know my dangers around me, man. Uh, hello. Sure. It's fine with me. Okay. Okay. It's open to by accident. I never more trapped though, so that's good. So yeah, when it comes to mob spawning, uh, you're probably up here, aren't you? When it comes to mob spawning, yeah, if you can just clear off that initial wave, you're basically good to go. Like. It takes so long for the mobs to spawn a second time. Just get on the spawner and that's it. I still think that in most cases I'm looting a room. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I double spawned. What a silly boy I am. I might still be able to get this. Oh, my God. I did slip. That was the thing that happened to me. Ooh, thank you for that. Um, let's do a little bit of inventory management, yeah? Ooh, stay away from that real quick, though. Hey, everybody, we all chilling? Everybody's chilling. All right, cool. Uh, thank you. Thank you. So much moaning around me. I don't know if I'm uncomfortable or if I kind of like it. Is everything there? And then you. Hey, bud. I think I was out of range long enough for me to be able to do this. Cool. Alright, neat. And then that's, uh... Should probably check and see what kind you are. It looks like it might be some kind of... Modified chest? Exactly. Woo! Yeah, I wasn't able to do that fast enough. Those creepers are dangerous as shit if you're not able to one-shot them. Oh, hi, guys. So clearly you're coming from a spawner that's downstairs that I do not have a view of. So for that reason, I'm out. We're at the end of the line for the vault anyway. It's not a square vault, I know that much. Don't know what's up there. It's a bit too high for me to want to deal with. Need spool? Oh yeah, I, I think I've got a really good shot of completing this scab. 
You're right, I should probably go back and grab a spool. <laughs> Standard chest down there. Me. Whoa, dude. Jesus. Oh. You know, goddamn, right? What are you up there? Oh, just right your chest. It's like, I'm trying to remember what altars look like, because altars are something that I would like to... So, mobs wielding a weapon. Surprise to no one. Do more damage than if they weren't. Crazy concept. What is that? Oh, ornate chests, I think. Or living. Ornate or living, one of the two. I'm gonna wanna mess with that. Thing is... Oh yeah, it's up top from there. So, heal seems... Pretty critical. Haste, not so much. Gonna be honest with you, I'm not really having a very hard, very tough time taking care of spawners. Healing, on the other hand, yeah, that's, uh, might even go up to, like, heal three or four, to be honest with you. Like, because I'm, I'm stunlocked right now. I got to heal fully, and I'm out of mana entirely. This is the health that I have, and I'm, I'm done. I still have another half heart to heal. Also, I carry around potions, which... I mean, I have a few at home from looting the end dimension, but that's not a permanent solution. Yeah, um, heal is, uh, heal's uh, pretty ideal. You have villagers selling a name tag? I don't, sadly. Wait for our mana to go up, guys. <laughs> so, um, when I'm a mana to, to go up a little bit. Where's the spawner on this one? Oh, it's literally right there. I think I might get bound on this. Might spawn again. We're good. Hey, buddy. The server is not liking my hit registration today. That's a new spawn. Oh, God. I wonder if all skeletons without bow and arrows spawn. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. I wonder if all of them spawn with uh, swords now. If they don't have a bow and arrow. Hunter's Eye? First time finding that. A kiwi! Ah, it's been a bit. Oh boy. Oh shit! Woo! From above! Oh, on me! Back off, bitch! I had to get back out of there fast because- Oh my god! You know, maybe after thinking about it, the archery class on a MCL maybe, might not have been that bad. <laughs> Jesus Lord. Yeah, healing is going to be, uh, we'll, we'll pick that up immediately. It's not a bad idea. The mob trap? Yep. Spawning quite a few of those bad boys. 
I feel like I'm playing this these vaults significantly slower than everybody else, and I probably am. I'm just... I don't know, man. I see the damage that the mobs are dealing. And I know how quickly death can happen. I just don't want to die. No mana regen talents? Um, I haven't looked in fully into what uh, options there are for mana. I know that we don't have the ability to do any of that right now, unfortunately, though. Uh, hopefully at some point they'll fix... Uh, I do need drone head, I guess. I was gonna say, hopefully at some point um, they fix the thing where you get scav items that aren't needed for the scavenger hunt itself. Who are you? I have no idea what you're meant to be, and that makes me curious. Okay. <laughs> That's something that I will be going to, though. Need to work my way around to that. Around and down. I did proc this. Take care of you quickly. I'm happy for you? Oh, my first of all I have a crafting ingredient. Nice. All right. Son of a bitch, man. I read I read trap. I knew they were above me. I just want to kill I got first. God damn, man. Unnecessary damage to be taken. Scroll, regret flask. Interesting. All right. Always a good chest. Seems to be the pattern for this vault, at least. Is the loot quantity noticeable? I mean, it's 4%. Not really. If you got a few of those pieces of gear... Hello. If you got a few of those pieces of gear stacked up... And also, I I don't normally... I haven't really gotten too much in general. I haven't looted too much, so I don't really know the difference. I love his bow sound. Oh, yeah, it's a resource pack that I use. Called a uh, lively default. It's pretty cool. Nothing else in the back there. I do want to get you. Is there an easier way to access that so I don't get immediately knocked off? I do believe so. Hey, man, a reminder. Don't need a reminder, boss. It's all good. Tech tags. I'm fine. I'm keeping keeping tally on how much time we got left. I love axe underscore four. What the? Is that a lease? Hey, give me that. Uh, yeah, that's it's, uh, it's good. Uh, uh-huh, uh-huh, yep. Very much so. I agree. Cool. All right. Oh shit, I didn't see there was a spawner right there. Should have been more aware. I'm gonna come back the way I came. I know that I'm like roughly off one side of the exit, but I wanna play it safe for right now. Just get back near spawn and then maybe loot a little bit more before we depart. 
but mostly important. I just kind of want to um, <laughs> take heal before I go into another vault. Just right your chest up there. Okay. I don't know if I grab that one or not. If I grab all these, you better believe I didn't. I have not been up here before. Hey, proc spawners while I'm at it, man. One thing, though. Bow and arrow actually seems to be pretty major, right? Because the countdown time for spawner cooldown is only when you're within spawner range. So, with what I did back there, proc a spawner, spawn a couple of mobs, run away from the range, shoot them down with a bow and arrow, then go back in and mine the spawner. You have all the time in the world to do that. So that's a safe way of taking care of it if you have the room for range and you can get away from the spawner. Okay, that's a, that's a way to do it. Why is he so bad in video games? Who are you talking to? You talking to me? Better give me a little wine and dime before you insult me like that tonight. Are the fairs for altars this season? Yes. Oh wait, I'm already back here. What is chance are on the bow? Punch to infinity and uh unbreaking. No power, because just like every other offensive enchant, uh, power got removed. Ray your chest up there. Oh boy. Ray your chest, ray your chest. A lot of loot down there, though. Is there a better way of getting down? Yes, there is. Punch 2 is going to get nerfed. Okay. Thought I heard somebody. Wild focus. Thank you for that. But what if, what if it didn't get nerfed though? That'd be like kind of pog and cool and pog. Oh, wait a minute. Oh shit. Uh... I'll take the altar or the spawner on the left. I'm going to be within that range anyway. How many do you need? Six? Aye! Your movement is very erratic and I don't like it. Well, that'll probably spawn the mobs I need. Ah! God, you can run far. What the fuck is that speed? Ah, god damn! What the fuck? Back off me, man! Jesus Christ! What the fuck? They're all down there! Aye! Lord Almighty, dude! There's still another one of you! Yeah! Hey, bud! Tell me that counted for the- I wasn't able to get the spawner out, but good lord. Oh yeah, cool, that did do that. Nice. Okay. Um... Can I loot it from here? I can. Oh, a donut. Never change. right down there. Alright, I'll check out one last room and then we'll depart. See if we can snag one more goodie. Should you craft an elytra with that magic silk? You think so? for you, boss. The 
Believers, we need to have a firm discussion, okay? The vault was actively out to get me. First of all, it's a scav, and my inventory is getting filled with not items that I don't need. All right, that's just a grief. Of course, the better a two chest gets trapped. I mean, that's just why we need to get those uh, safe zone modifiers online. Voice crack? Voice crack of the day? You got someone that gets my cracking voice, dude? Oh! 1,500 experience! Jeez, though, man. How the hell did I get 1,500 experience? God damn. By the way, I'm gonna do a quick little raffle. It's fixed. It sounds so good now! And I'll spend 3D! See you in the gladiator arena, boss. Uh, heal's been upgraded. Very pog. Strength is a little for ya. Literally every single scav, man. Every single volley going to a scavenger. This one actually doesn't look that bad, though. This one actually seems fairly easy. We're going north right now. We could try and get this done. If we're swift about things. I didn't really see any good chest locations there. Spider Soul Charm is the only difficult one. Outside of that, zombie hides just in standard chests, and then green mob essence is just from killing undeads. So, maybe we beeline around for gilded spots. Try and find some rooms where gilds are a little bit more open. Out in the open. I wouldn't be against that. Because prior and gild is just so difficult. For prioring like any uh special type of chest. This looks like maybe it could be something different. That's no, standard. No, they are. I don't know what the scav like what the deal is with scavs, but it's insane. Ugh. Bitch. Yeah, man. Oh. Poison, man. We already got one of those. That's sick. Water bucket. Come on, dude. Walk right back into the poison. Put the only chest in there. What the heck, dude? What the heck, man? Yeah, man, he's just in cooldowns. Real nice. Oh, this room, holy shit. That's so much gold! I haven't been in this room before. Let me go ahead and uh, make that very clear. And the mobs are just spawning away down there. Fucking hell. I'm gonna be cautious on this one, but I kind of want to go down there, you know? Nice to see VH again. Oh, I don't like- Why is my client- Oh, my client's lagging like hell. Wait, my client's lagging like crazy. Hold on a second. I can't play down here. What the fuck was that? Okay. Um, I can't do this room because my client just lagged like crazy. No, it's still lagging. You see that choppiness is happening there? The frame skips? I can't fight. Yeah, Jesus Christ. What the hell? Okay. Room was nice while it lasted. Fuck. The ceiling? I mean... What the hell's going on with my frames now? I 
And all right, I'll take what I can get, I guess. Being honest, I don't even know if I'd survive down there in the first... Ah! That's some ugly lag. I mean, I like the money, though. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy about this and the experience that I'm getting. Dang it, man. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's for the better, you know? Maybe maybe that's the game trying to warn me about, uh... Maybe it's trying to do me one right, you know? Is the gold pile lag in the game? I doubt the gold pile. Well, I don't know. I have no idea what would cause the lag like that. Maybe. As soon as I'm out of the room, though, it's not lagging anymore. I was lagging a little bit when I ran through the, uh... Oh, I blocked that off incorrectly. It's fine, though. Is it worth it to complete a scav? Yeah, I'd like to try. I'm just kind of beelining for, uh, gildeds and other such chests. What the? Why you guys got so much HP? There's some beefy boys down here. Oh, those guys have so much health. Tanky ass boys. This looks extremely annoying to go through when there's no guildas there. See, I wouldn't want to be, uh. Depth Strider advantage on here. Don't forget to extract. Oh, yeah. Hey, red. Hmm. Pretty nice. It's another shulker boy. It was an elite, I think. No, an elite would be significantly larger, and I if it's correct and from the last elite that I faced. I think they spawned with a horde of zombies around them. That's definitely not an elite, though. If that was an elite, that would have been like 1600 XP in just those few. Hmm. Check down here real quick. It's like, I know extracts a thing, but at the same time, like, I don't want all this stuff. <laughs> or chess. It's a spawner. Oh, there we go. Do not enter a vault within the next five minutes. You got it. You got it. Oh, that's not what I want to be doing. Um, green mob essence is done. Fog, thank you. Ah, very cool. Depth Strider is huge for these water rooms. Big, big fan of it. But if you're already in one, I'm assuming it's completely fine. I'm whatever they're doing, I'm assuming they're waiting. For anybody currently in a vault. Skill essence, boggers. Oh, zombie head. I keep doing that. Why am I doing that in the vaults that I'm- or in the rooms that I'm leaving? That's gonna confuse the hell out of me. Uh, being silly with the way that I'm navigating vaults today. Why is my brain not working the way that I need it to? Nothing here? How about up? Oh, a collection spot. 
and some mobs to fight from up there. That range is just crazy. Hey guys. You're gonna keep spawning on me, so I need to be fast about this. Eat that. See ya! Spawner up top. You didn't die from that? Freak you, dude. One nine sugar, by the way. Yep. That's two out of four. Nice. Yeah, it's soaked back. What's this? Nothing I will be partaking in. Not with those boys. Make sure they can't get to me from there. But what if? But what if? Sack! Yeah, that's where you are, man. Sorry, that was rude. I was just, I was just a little frustrated. That's, that's all. My bad, my bad, my bad. My bad. I didn't mean to say such heinous things. I don't need it, though, man. Vault Nugget scenario? That would have been a fast loot. That's where I should have fast looted. I just see all the garbage in the regular chest, and I'm like, I don't want to take those home. <laughs> I don't want those. Do you need gilded, not ornate? Uh, you're correct. I see a fancy chest, and my brain sparks, okay? Show me a living chest, I don't care. Give me something fancy. Normal chests. Gold piles. MLG clutching is like, I can, I know that I can do it. It's just scary, man. No, the common gilded. Me. Oh, kill altar here. Uh, hey, guys. Just zombies down here? Where's the altar? Oh, the altar's right there. Interesting. I'm risking a little bit just letting these guys spawn like this. Oh, thanks for the dodge, bud! Right, I think that's all the uh, mobs we will need. Take this out. If I'm gonna do anything in this vault, I'm gonna get the altar. I want that loot. The treasure sand? Actually, that might be. Wait, that might be the treasure sand that, uh... Oh, yeah, huh. Right, are you done? Hey, get close. I don't know if you're done or not. Let me see. You filled? You? Oh, no, you're not. Oh, shit. Oh, did I scuff myself? I swear I thought that more were uh, aggro than that. Uh oh. Well, first of all, I need to go up and dig that sand. Oh, it's yellow concrete powder. <laughs> Give me one more mob! No, it's underwater! Be trapped! Yes! Actually huge! Oh, we got a favor! What a series of events! <laughs> nice script, bud. Nice script there, bud. Hey, give me that loot. Oh, my first, uh, mystery box. 
Other people have gotten those. I haven't gotten one before. Very cool. Very pog. All right, well, we're giving a little bit of a love to Idona this season, it seems, at the very least. Cool. We'll see what that has to do with, uh, how that affects vault looting. A clutch trap chest. I know, man, the first time I was hoping for a trap chest. Because it was in, the spotter was in the water, mobs weren't going to spawn. It needed to be trapped, otherwise that wasn't possible. Rip the ornate in the water? Was there an ornate in the water? Fuck, I'm about to go back. I swear on God. Ah! Zombie eyed. Thank you for that. Get rid of that. Thank you. Found a spawner. Oh, is that the one that I already looted? Silly chat. Uh, uh, ah! It's the water! How are you in here? Alright, so if we were gonna complete the vault, we just need, uh, a gilded chest. I'm trying to go a little bit back on the way that I came, so I'm close to spawn. Closer to, uh, where I need to go, because we were traveling north out from there. This should be a room I've already gone to? Unless I was one further out than I thought? Ooh, I am one further out than I thought. Uh oh. I'm gonna backtrack a little bit and just get near spawn and then, uh, go back. Closer toward it. We have to do the dragon room. I physically can't do the dragon room. I will lag down there and die. Yeah, I'll lag down there and die. I need to get a better way of routing vaults. So I'm spending like two and a half. You know what? I have a speed potion for this shit. I'm spending like two and a half, three minutes just backtracking to make sure that I haven't, uh, I know that it's... Wait, no. Hold on. Fuck. Sorry. I... Being a little silly billy. Yeah, no, I'm going the right direction. Wicked zooming. Yeah, that'd be one more room down this way. Never mind. This could kill me. It's not Omega, it's a challenge room. Fuck, if it's a challenge room, I don't know, man. I... Was it patched? Well, yeah, but it wasn't necessarily... Just because it's patched doesn't mean it's suddenly easy. I don't know. Fuck. This thing ruined my life? Yeah, I mean, it got patched after you, though. Uh, I'm fucking nervous doing this, dude. Dude, I don't know, man. I don't know. Nah, I don't know. Fuck. Content? Yeah, I know. I know. I know the content. That doesn't proc it, of course it doesn't. Shit. 
Should be faster than this, probably. Yeah, I'm really happy for you, bud. <laughs> yeah, it's Well, that was fun. I'm, uh... i figure out how the fuck to get out of this vault now. I'm going immediately back every single direction that I came. I'm just gonna backtrack everything. So I don't exactly trust the way home. It's scaring me a little bit, but we got five minutes. I'm fine. No gilded? Yeah, I know. I mean, I bet I'm just gonna backtrack and get myself out of this bitch. I spent a little bit more time in there than I would have fully liked, just because I wanted to get a little bit of loot. And hey, you know what? It worked out. So those were um, those were ornate chests, right? That's what they're called. Are ornate chests the ones that can spawn gear? Could we have gotten unidentified Valkyrie in those chests? Yeah, okay. So... Kind of unlucky, to be honest. But... Considering what I've seen Xmark rooms do, the dangers that I've seen from them, I'm not gonna call that room unlucky. That... That was good. We got some good ass resources from that shit, man. That's my vault right there. I'm gonna try and get back home near to where uh spawn was. But just going full back the way that I came. Not thinking about anything else. And then we'll check around, see if we can maybe snag a gilded chest nearby. And no traps. I wonder if those can be trapped. Because I fail to believe that I got lucky and none of them being trapped. The thing is, though, so, challenge rooms, if that is a challenge room, it's not an Omega room, but is the challenge then just the risk of it? Because my understanding of it being a challenge room, with the way the challenge rooms are presented to us, would be that... Have I looted this? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yoink. I'm out. <laughs> Me and Ornatius are kind of getting to know each other, huh? So it's kind of like your your challenge is the 50-50, pretty much. So that's interesting. I believe this is the last room before the entrance. I think it's the entrance to the vault here. Yep, that's the entrance. Okay, we got three minutes. We're going west out of here. Let's see if we can just quickly snag a gilded real fast. I would need to find a, uh, a drop-off point as well, too, nearby. Never say it's not possible. Coins down there. That might be what I bank on. Hey, watch this. Give us a little avenue of escape. Oh, this one? Yeah, I wasn't able to crit anybody. It took a little bit longer than intended. Oh, 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 God. I gotta get out of here fast. Man. What can I throw out? Fuck a milk bucket. Give me that silver. Right, your chest. I wouldn't be able to kill this guy anyway. I'm getting out. Where's the exit of this way?
All right. You know what? We weren't able to complete the scav. Didn't find any gills during that. But, uh, hey. You know? That ain't too bad. That ain't too... That ain't too bad. That's probably the best, like, overall loot I think I've gotten from a vault before. Ornate-wise, at the very least. Jesus, we have that. How much level we get off that? 1,000 XP. Solid. I think it's going to be a full level up, but we can at least take that one home. 50 coin bottles collected. 54 chests opened. Only 38 mobs unalived. What do we got? 1 Omega Wooden. 3 Epic. Okay. Ornate. 1 Epic. 5 Rare. 14 Common. 0 Trapped. 1 Altar. 1 Common Gilded. Oh, so we did get 1 Gilded earlier there. Spider, Zombie, and Voltor, and that's it. All right. My level's on that one, baby. Hell yeah. All right, sick. Okay, man. Now, also, here's the thing. So, scrap pickaxe, and then there's just vault pickaxe. So, that's a vault ingot, right? Vault nugget around netherite ingot. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, hold on a second. And then that goes to black chromatic. And black chromatic steel is chromatic steel ingots around perfect black opal. This obviously is not what we're down for. But we might just be able to jump right up to a vault pickaxe, actually, with the amount of vault dust that we have. Because we have 19 vault nuggets already around netherite ingots. And if my knowledge serves me correctly, you just need diamonds. And we have... We've got a few diamonds. Which I believe are all downstairs. Oh. Oh. Oh, baby. We're getting expensive up in here, aren't we? How many of those do we need? We need five more? I'll only make five right now. I don't want to spend too many diamonds. Let me get those vault nuggets. Chuck that around netherite and get. Let me grab up that real fast. Send me on wherever I might have the ability to make sticks. Give me a crafting table real fast and show me... A beautiful vault pickaxe, baby. Oh, damn. Okay. We might not have completed the scav vault, but that X mark kind of boosted us up a little bit in terms of pickaxe progression. Hey, it's got a rainbow texture and everything too. Damn, man. Happy for that pickaxe. All right. That's why we set up infrastructure in the first two days. I mean, that's also why we just get lucky with an X mark. <laughs> um... Holy shit, man. Okay. So, yesterday, when we got our first piece of gear, we demoed off the Vault Artisan Station. This is how you modify gear using uh, the circle things that you get, or whatever, plating and gold to suffixes, prefixes, all that kind of stuff. But now, we have a different thing to be working on. We need to make a tool vise. Tool vise is uh, three polished vault stone, an anvil, two copper ingots, and one chromatic, uh, three chromatic steel ingots. And that is where you modify pickaxes. Three chromatic steel ingots right there. Uh, we'll need an anvil, so I need to go back down and grab... Actually, we can use any type of anvil. That was already fully uh, done, so... I mean, I guess we can just grab this. I don't have a chipped anvil anywhere nearby, but that's fine. Uh, vault cobblestone. Do I have any... I probably have polished vault cobblestone somewhere. I probably have somewhere. In the interest of time, though, because I'm extremely impatient... Call it alone. I want my shit now. <laughs> and two copper ingots. The joke is that I'm gonna find uh, the copper ringets after that's already been smelted. Because I'm not gonna have any copper ringets or know where they are if I even have smelted copper. I don't even know if I have smelted copper. I don't think I have smelted copper. Fuck. <laughs> Wait, stop, stop. Put the copper in. <laughs> Smelt the copper p God damn it. And nothing was ever different. Got me on the edge of my toes, man. Leave me alone. Let me make a tool vice real fast. Wait, where's my poly- Wait, fuck. What'd I do with- Wait, what'd I do with the- Am I brain working? Literally, what did I just do with the polished stone? Where'd I put that shit? What'd I do with it? Where'd it go? Where did I put the- 
what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> what what is he doing? Low W, where is he going? Where is he going? Toolvice! This thing. Check it out. Bang! So Welcome to your upgrade station when it comes to vault pickaxes. These are uh I'm trying to remember everything and because this was a while ago. But the basic sentiment of this is, depending on what you want to put in, there's a chance that you can upgrade a pick with different things. Durability. Let me move my uh, face cam down over here. Durability, reach, mining speed, and copiously. I remember that that's, I think that's just the amount of gems that you can get. I'm not exactly sure. Um, these are all things that you can get with a certain cost to all of them. So for example, durability costs four vault bronze and one vault plating. That's where you drop it in there. Um, or you can get any of these. Now here's the thing. Every time that you apply something to the pickaxe, check this number underneath here, this is the success chance of it applying. Every time that you apply something to a pickaxe, this percentage number goes down. If it fails to apply, the pickaxe breaks completely. It's gone. Not exhausted, it's just completely gone. The reason why you want to do this is that this little star right here, as you're adding on these items, this bar will progress further. If you hit the star, you get a prestige on your pickaxe. I think the term is prestige. I don't remember exactly what prestiging does. I don't want to know. Proceed, socket, whatever. But let's go ahead and uh, let's check this out. So reach, in my opinion, is one of the better things that we could get. Um, durability, obviously, is great. Um, mining speed, also probably pretty sick. But reach, I think, can just be so critical, depending on where you're stacking, what kind of loot you're doing. Um, copiously, also, would be uh, really nice. So, um... Efficiency and everything can work on it, right? I'm fairly certain that efficiency and all that works on here. I don't think that you'd be... I'm fairly certain that you can throw efficiency on here. Let's just go ahead and check to make sure. Where's my efficiency? Five. Efficiency five. Thank you. Make a quick anvil real fast, because I've already made 17 million of these. Thank you for the time. Uh, yeah, so efficiency and vanilla tools do work. We will uh, not be doing that until we actually get a successful pick and everything we've gone for. But at the very least, does it already have 10 reach? Uh, no, the 10 is the mining speed, to my knowledge. So 4,000 durability compared to a diamond pickaxe that is 1561, so already pretty significant. This again compared to a scrap pickaxe, which we are able to make if the things go south. <laughs> um... 2500 so it's got a little bit more durability and you can also see it has two repairs so after the durability is done then we're going to be able to repair it with stuff so let's go ahead and get uh what are the things we're working on here because the copiously requires red vault essence which we what does red vault essence take to make is it the same as season two painite gem and vault essence we don't have any painite so copious is not going to be a thing we're going to be able to get right now we need silver scrap um, I actually don't even know what silver scrap. Silver scrap is... Do we have any? Have we gotten silver scrap before? I have one silver scrap, but we're not doing anything with that. Let's grab a chromatic steel. We got some bronze, and let's grab the plating. Which, as a reminder, if you guys were not here yesterday, vault plating is entirely different. Plating is used in these workstations now as a form of currency. You need it on top of Vault bronze and gold and stuff like that. Vault plating is now no longer used for durability and anvils. That does not exist anymore. Extra plating, 20 plating for a thousand extra durability. Not a thing. It's strictly for use in these stations. In case you were curious. We already tested it. All that kind of stuff. So, uh... Alright. Let's grab, uh... Wait, where's my... Hey, give me this. Oh, also, small little thing as I'm running away from it. That's kind of neat. If you look at the top... The pickaxe actually renders inside of the vise. It's a pretty cool, right? Yeah, that's a neat little thing. Um, also, let me go ahead and check my chat a little bit up here since we're not trying to cover up the... There we go. 
Can you still repair gear? Through repair course, but not through uh, that. Anyway, durability is already good. Let's try and get some reach going. So, four vault bronze, one red... Oh, I do need to make red vault. Wait. Oh. I do need red vault essence. Oh. Oh. I thought I didn't... Okay, so we're not going to be able to do that. Um, but we will be able to get durability on here. This guy's so smart. What a smart guy. We can at least try and, uh, we can at least try and get the, uh, durability up. So, first attempt at upgrading. It worked. We got 272 durability. A little bit under halfway, so we lower on that one. 95% chance of success. Plus 513 durability. And now if this one succeeds, we get a socket. Which it did. So we have an additional socket now. You better believe I forgot what a socket does. <laughs> I forgot what a socket does. <laughs> oh, the jewels. The ju Oh, yeah, these things. Right, right. Okay, right. Yeah, okay. So, uh, sockets are used to apply jewels. That <laughs> Good one. Yeah, nice. All right. Listen, hey, I skipped all the initial streams, all right? I wanted to come into this anyway. Um, these are all the jewels that you can make to put on the pickaxes. So Socket the Vault pickaxe to add shoveling, sturdy, farming, smelting, immortal, reinforced, shattering, hammering, axing, quick, pulverizing, and excavating. Ours is reinforced. And the way that you craft these is with a gemstone of the specific type, three chromatic steel ingots, one black chromatic steel ingot, and four silver scrap. So actually, we can't attain any of this <laughs> because I don't have any of those, and I will not be able to make those because I don't have any silver scrap. But the point is, is that we have a pickaxe with a socket, and isn't that so cool? <laughs> Um, but yeah, so reinforce, I, I don't know specifically what these do. You can tell in some of the ways, like with gorgeous jewels with shoveling, this is how pickaxes are meant to be paxels. Shoveling allows it to act as a shovel. Axing allows it to act as an axe. Those kinds of deals. So that's where the, uh, those things have gone, basically. Look at my socket. My socket's amazing. Yeah, what do you need to make one of those? Very Alexa's right and eight pizza night gems. Okay, so yeah, sockets are, um, they're a, a little bit of a later thing we can consider. But yeah, so reach, we're not going to be able to get. Mining speed, we're not going to be able to get one to three. Would have been really nice, to be honest with you. So I think what we'll probably do is take the 718 home. We're not carrying about a second socket right now. How many sockets max can you get? I think it depends, if I'm correct, I think it depends on the tier of pickaxe. So I'm fairly certain if we made a Vault Scrap pickaxe that the first star would be further down, I think. I might be wrong in that. I may be wrong in that, but I think that's correct. So yeah. Anyway, um, well, we did just get a Suck Touch Mending Efficiency and a Breaking Pick. And now it's time to move it all over to this. Poggers. <laughs>I have a question, and you know what I say to that chat? I hope you have a very lovely day. Ooh, desert theme. I haven't had this in a little bit. We're going south to start off. All right. It's not a scav. So that's kind of neat. Maybe we, um... Might not be the best thing to test out with a pickaxe. 
but maybe we do a little running around, see if we can find a couple obes. Not saying I want to completely ignore getting a loot, but, you know. See how fast it is? That seemed like sense. Doesn't seem too bad. Also, not sure how much better <laughs> without the mining speed upgrades from the pay night. I, I think I noticed a, a slight difference, and I don't think it's copium. I think there's a no copium difference in there or something. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. It seems like a, a little faster. Not like a super considerable amount, but... I can see that um, Harry's Enderman farm is going quite well. Also, stop blocking off the direction that you go in. I'm sure Harry will be fine. Mine a creeper with it? Do you think it would allow me to? A bun! No way, man. What the dick? Why did I just let you hit me? I gave you an ego boost for absolutely no reason! What the... Dead end room? Man... What kind of nothing? What kind of nothing is in this room? Probably plenty of chests everywhere that I'm not looking, but if I don't see them, I don't care. No more bunless. Hey there, bud. Heading west, so we gotta go east to get back home. I'll keep that in mind. I told myself that it looked like an X mark. Oh my fucking god. Oh man. Give me like a couple seconds, I'm gonna be a big bitch when it comes to clearing out this room. There needs to be a way to be able to like clear this so in the event of mobs spawning a ton around you, you can get out relatively safely. You know what? I'm gonna try something. Hold on, hold on. I, I, I think I have an idea. I think I have an idea. What if any, if any mobs spawned on top of you, what if they couldn't get down onto you? They couldn't fall on you. So if any mobs spawn up here, we'd have a gap to be able to get out. Listen, I got 20 minutes inside this vault, and this might be triple the loot that I get in the next two. I'm taking my time with thinking about this. Now, for my other understanding, same way that the last vault worked, or season two worked, it's not going to trigger. It's not going to trigger if I'm not standing underneath it. Same thing also, I don't think it triggered until I took away all of the blocks on the floor. But it did allow me... So in that case... What I can do here... I can also just stand here and build around like this. And then I can drop and build up to have room.
Give ourselves one more time. And then we take out this lower section right here. Drop down. And then maybe also for quick evac. Is there a way that I could maybe throw water down here that wouldn't... Hmm. I'm designing something. Hold on, hold on. Overkill? Not at all. Not at all. I've seen what this room can do to people. And I have no idea what it's like now that it's fixed. You've seen how much damage one skeleton with a sword can deal? I'm prepping to make sure that I can loot this as high of a chance that I have without getting killed. I don't think it's overkill at all, boss. So we can do something like this, right? And then we can throw water. Builds a little scuff. We can throw water down. Right there. For an exit possibility. And that cups it just like that. So if we need to get out... So if I need to get out, <laughs> oh, some good coverage, eh? Yeah. So if I need to get out, I can stand right here, and as soon as it procs, I can build up two, and we're gone. Do I need to stand in the middle? And just like that, we made it out with our life without taking a single tick of damage. And just like that, I'm going right back into the room that I just left out. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> no. You know what? Is that the reason why a couple people were in here earlier, kind of hoping that I take a death someday Because <laughs> you know what? I get it. Like, I, I, you know, like, yeah. It's the same room. That's yeah, the same room. But now I can screw it out the other way without a million mobs being in front of me. That room is not really that great. The only thing that's in the overhanging chains is like compressed blocks of some kind. And I just don't really, I don't really care to. It's a cool looking room though. Hey, you know what? We'll get faster at building that X-Mark escape. <laughs> but I know, man, I'm telling you, I'm like, if there were mobs above there, we got to prevent it in measure. And it paid off. What the hell is going on over here? Fucking hell, dude. Those guys hurt so bad. They hurt so bad. What is this? It's nothing. It ain't a damn thing. There ain't a damn thing here. I'm just going to have a spawner without any loot for it. I'm not liking this desert too much, man. To be fair, though, I did get a bun. Big man. Big man. What the? Hit registration? Oh, the spider's gonna ruin my day. Not before I ruin its day. 
Ow. Ow. Fucking shit. I hate the spiders. Watch this dude have like a pull or something and I'm just gonna get him immediately killed. Hey, bud. Took down the mummy. Plus 800 experience. Foggers. I do really like the, uh... Oh. Oh. Can't tell what's a slab and what's not, because I'm going to water bucket down there and take 700 damage. <laughs> That's what spawn on top of there. Where's the spawner? Spawner underneath. Whatever. Spawner, I hardly know her. I don't want to go near that spawner while I'm working on this one. Oh! Wendor! I haven't seen you yet! Oh, shit. Okay, hold on a second. Let me, uh... I want to do the altar, but I also need to be approaching this from a little bit of a safer angle. There was one vault fighter down there. I'm going to go the back way and just take care of them one by one. That's a very uh, reliable back way. Back entrance. Jesus Christ. I have a bow and arrow for a reason. Let's take care of the vault fighter. The husks are easy. <laughs> Jeez, man. Hello, skeleton that can deal 700 million damage to me. Also, frail as hell. There you are. A vault fighter, God bless. I was just kind of praying that there wouldn't be one. the spawner here? Oh, right here. Thought I wasn't gonna get that in time. It's fine, though. Wonder how much time are you looking to take from me? Three minutes? It's understandable. Crystal cave. Oh! That's how you get silver strap, baby! God damn! That's massive! It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Nothing underneath there, just a single chest to speak of? Man. That does make four total. That does allow me to build, a. Uh... What was the thing, huh? Was it for the jewel? Was the, the thing we were looking at that took four of it? It was the jewel, right? Yeah, it was the jewel. Obviously, we're still quite a ways away from being able to make one of those, but... I don't know if I trust my vault navigation well enough. 
right now. Uh, fuck. Oh, fuck. We haven't gone down many rooms. I'll be fine. Uh, actually, will I? Three minutes. I don't know, actually. I don't think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna be a little pussy bitch. I don't think I'm gonna do it. I'm not doing it. You can't make me. No, it just fell down there. <laughs> Maybe don't run across the bridge in third person, you had ass. Boo. He's just gonna get another X mark room in the next four minutes. Lame. I don't know, man. I haven't found any gilded or an HS or anything from here. I can love this one chest here. I'm just, hey, you know what? I have no problem admitting that I do not trust my vault navigation enough yet for me to be running back with only three minutes to spare. It's a pretty dangerous area, to be honest. Hopefully I'm in between spawn locations. Crazy, for the Pog crazy! I am pogging, and I might be going crazy about it. Thank you, Fierce. Fuck. I did kill an elite? That's true. I did kill an elite. Uh, oh, we got some... Oh, I see you. I see you. I see you. I see you. Wait, you're gonna try and snowball me. Some danger might drop down on me here if I'm not cautious. Oh, yeah, there's the danger. Hold on a second. So the one on the right procs. I'm gonna get this and I'm gonna go. Ouch. See, it, like, that hits on land, you know? Maybe I've mistimed these. I've mistimed these greatly. You know what? Can I just, like, snag the Laramar and then dip? Yes, I can. Goodbye. Mr. Ashton or Sparkle Teen? You mean raw gold? <laughs> Could have done the altar instead. Yeah, but I wouldn't have felt good about it though. Damn, you're right. Shut up. Don't tisk me. Come on, man. I wanna. <laughs> Y'all are being way too loud right now. I'm gonna need you to just take it a step back. Are catalyst expensive now? I mean, considering I don't really have much Laramar or Benetite, I mean, I don't even know if that's how you make catalyst anymore. I have quite a few catalyst fragments. I haven't done anything with him yet. Speed pot? Nah, no, we're fine. It's only like two rooms up. Yeah, literally this one. Alright, maybe me and Wendar aren't gonna get off on the right foot this season. You know what I mean? Thirteen hundred. Who was Anvil? <laughs> How do why do I leave my vault and I hear an Anvil going off, dude?
It's one of those movies, man, where the dude gets home from work and there's this guy in his garage just fucking working on his wife's car. <laughs> what? Is that a movie or am I just enacting a fantasy? Um, what we got here? One altar, rare altar, pretty good. Oh, this is a rare altar, nice. Um, okay, one creeper, one spider, no zombie, throwing out husk, one elite husk, vault dweller and skeleton. Give me that. Hell yeah. But we do have a skill point. Let's discuss. If we were to up heal again, we'd be bringing it from an 8 second cooldown to a 6 second cooldown. And it would have a mana cost of 20 instead of 25, which given the amount of mana that we currently have would be 5 heals. That's pretty significant, you know? So far, I haven't really seen a need for, um... A huge need for Vein Miner, as nice as it would be. Offensive-wise, I mean, I think we're still doing fine. Get some more another wreck, so you don't have to worry about it later. Yeah, I was planning on refilling another wreck. Interesting. So the cooldown increases to 10 seconds. Mana nearly doubles over, but you get three hearts instead of two. That has to be better. But with our amount of mana that we have, that would be... With cooldown and mana regeneration, that would be what three heals would be able to get off for a total of 18 hit points. I think the big benefit of this is because what we're talking about right now, or the way that I'm thinking of, is how quickly can you regenerate from like one heart, right? And obviously, this is really good for that purpose. But heal being three hearts instead of two means that, like, in a tough spot when you're inches from death or like in an active fight. That extra heart can be a very critical thing when you'd have to wait for a cooldown anyway. So, like, I get it. It's for a different dependency than we're working for, and then it'll get better as time goes on. So it's like a bigger instant instance than, than this. But if we're just talking about usability and cooldown, then what we have is better. So... For right now, I want to say that we're okay. Yeah, so next up isn't worth it, but next two or three is. Yeah, for the way that we're using it, like getting docked down 7 out of 11 hearts and then having to regen fully with our cooldown, this wouldn't be a good upgrade yet. So we can hold off on heal for a little bit and be happy with it until we have like three skill points and just want to dump down more. You know what I mean? Oh, that's funny, actually. So if we switch over to heal 8, we actually get 3 heart heal, but the mana cost goes up to 45 and the cooldown goes... Obviously, we wouldn't do that, but it's just interesting how that's been going up as well, too. Okay. All in all, I think uh, investing in a heal has been a really nice thing. I'm, I'm pretty content with that. Pretty happy with that choice. All right. Everything is, uh, everything is good to go. Everything is G2G. Let's run it up and uh, we'll see what we can do. All right. Here. Five obelisk. We're going west. The so west facing vault. Probably not killing a boss anytime soon, but. Hey, man, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, what? Ow! Ah! I'm losing to a spot. I'm about to bail out of the vault immediately. I'm getting pinned. <laughs> hey, how you doing? You stupid idiots. <laughs> oh, man. Lost to a spider. I literally told myself when I was building this, the spider's gonna... What the? Stop, they don't stop coming. They don't stop spawning. Ah! 
I'm gonna have to make a break for it. What the? What the? What? The? Huh? Oh. Oh. Ah. Ah! Ah! Oh! <laughs> well, so anyway, that's going to be waiting for me when I uh, try and get back out of the vault. <laughs> What kind of go- Never mind, I like this vault. I'm having a good time. This is a great vault so far. What did- Did, did you follow me from the other room? Deadass, I swear to God, it did. It ha- I, it, it, I swear to God, it did. A future problem for future you. Yeah, I'm sure future me will have a solution by then. Well, that was a great start to a fall. <laughs> you know, suddenly I'm not really too thrilled about those uh, runes that I have that give crystal rooms as a guarantee. Maybe wait until I've got, um, I don't know, man. A sword that does 17 million damage against spiders could be useful. I might not get this in time. I probably will. Maybe not. Yeah, we're good. We're not fine anymore. We're actually like really less than fine. Oh my fucking god. Dude, they're so smart with their AI as well, too, man. Like, the way that they traverse is so, like, jagged. I hate it. Thank God for my bow, man. I'm not even going to loot the chest. I don't care. <laughs> What's up, Obelisk? Bro, you want me to take on a boss when these mobs are doing that much to Aramis to me? That was just me not really looking where I was going. Oh! There's no way I get this in time. But here I am doing it anyway, like an idiot. Oh, here I am. Amplifying focus is kind of pog, though. It might not be a gear piece. But it's at least... an extra modifier for a gear piece. So, you know, you... I see something up there. I don't think it's a chest. Is that just the design of something? No, what is that? I want to go up there. Oh no. Oh, I was good in coming up here. Nice. Quickly. Perfect. Shatter! Neat. My first cheese slice. This has been a very interesting room, and I didn't get the obelisk. Oh, did I miss a soul? Fuck, that's actually a good backseat.
Oh, yeah. You know what's funny? I think I actually saw that, but because of season two, I just didn't care. <laughs> uh, I think that was a little bit of season two uh, coming around. Because I, I, I did know it was there. I just completely ignored it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that do be how it goes sometimes. I need to collect the diamond nuggets. I don't know. I don't care about them. I want to go up to that. Spawn and then go away. Here's my strat. I spawn it. I get out of spawning range. And then I build up and break the spawner. Because by the time I get up there, it won't be, uh... Yeah. Sir, I think you accidentally removed your step-up talent. For the sake of your viewers and experience, can you spec into it again? I think you accidentally you. removed your, um... Uh... Uh... Holy shit. Code, thank you so damn much for the hundred dollars. Holy fuck, thank you. Coming out of nowhere with support like that? Jesus Christ, thank you so much. The hell? So did I mark the way I came in? No, I did not. Hey, you silly guy. Mark your entrance before you, uh... Come back, King? I'm not trying to clap back. I was gonna say something like, I think you forgot to... I don't know. Ko, thank you for the... 10k, Jesus Christ. I would spec into code. Do you know how step up works in this? Are you making a Keck W on a 100 bone? I gotta get up there now. This is a little bit scary. Oh, God. Oh, pretty good. Wrong shulker box. So, uh, it's not bad. <gasps> oh, is it only crystal cave, dude? Vein miner ability. It's actually quite useful. Neat. Have a code again. Thank you so damn much for the um I don't even want to go down to the regular chest, but also like why would I not, you know? There's four of them. There's four of them and only one spawner. You better believe I'm here. I'm here for the book club meeting. Oh. If I didn't go down there, I would have missed the bun. That would have been horrible. Where did I come out from? Okay. Uh, we'll go here. We'll kind of mirror the way that the, uh... Vault was generated. I mean, not like I'm about to just... Loop right back around anyway. I also did that incorrectly. Uh, my head ass. Is that what are these? Where is anything? I wonder truthfully. I honestly think. Yo, Quirky! Good afternoon. I hope you're having a great day. I'm off to deliver loads of fresh baked jalapeno cheddar bread. 
Will be no back later. Also dinner is on me tonight. My number one spot now. Also so you said I removed my holy shits. But I don't have any to begin with. Also what's up with step up? Haven't followed many streams recently. Bro what is happening? Thank you both for the incredible donations. I appreciate the both of you an absolute ton. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Um... So step up isn't a talent anymore. It's a uh you have to have a trinket. You gotta find a trinket or make it. I think you just find it. Hold on. Oh dude. It's lag central, man. It's lag central, isn't it? Give me a second. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna get the stuff. Oh, I'm already. My frames are already dropping, I think. Might be able to see, Bo. Hold on. If you guys weren't here earlier, we found one of these rooms and it lagged me to absolute hell the second that I dropped down on it. But there's no mobs up here, so this is just kind of a free thing to take. The coins are good, though. The currency's nice. Do not ever get me wrong. I don't think I'm lagging. But I also don't fully know. Boozum, boozum, boozum. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else did yeah, anyway. <laughs> There's the mobs. I just... I nearly died last time. I'm just not going to risk it. I can't. I don't know. If my client starts lagging again and I go down there... Yeah, I'm not doing it. Like, I, like, I can't. I can't do it. Oh my god, what's with the challenge rooms? Wait! This ain't no challenge room! This ain't no challenge room! It's a trapped room! Chad, it's your room! <laughs> what the phoenix does do? That's a good ass question. I don't know. This is fun. I I like this, you know? It's been a day of getting souls, huh? Jesus. It's been a very soulful day. My oh, other burger cheese! A oh, kiwi! It's a lost center chest. Ah, oh, relic booster pack. Eh. 
Is that all of them? That's all those. And then what do we have? What do we have in here? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my. Oh my god, Lair- Dude, Laramar? Any Laramar choice? Oh! <gasps> Pay night! What a- Oh, Tony! Fuck, dude. Oh my god, the burgers. Jesus Christ. The vault essence? Thank you for that. God damn, okay. Okay, you know, and then we got anything down here? Don't believe. Oh, yes, we do. Oh, yes, we do, baby. Give me that bun. Give me the rest of that vault meat. Uh, I gotta smooth soon. Huh? Ah! <laughs> it's from my fall damage. So that's a pretty neat room. This is pretty... This is pretty cool. That's, uh... That's pretty cool. Alright. That's, uh... That's pretty... That's pretty Omega. Alright. I don't think we're gonna spend any more time. I don't think we're gonna spend any more time being any more greedy, I think we're gonna go ahead and evac our tails out of here the way we came. Cause I gotta figure out how the hell I'm dealing with the, uh... I gotta figure out how the hell I'm dealing with that spawn crystal room. Oh, god almighty, man. Later in the game, can coin pikes drop platinum? I would be shocked if platinum ever became droppable like that. Gold, I'm sure, rarely, to some degree, right? But platinum? I don't even think Platinum was ever that attainable back in Season 2. That first room is making me miss my teleport arrows. <laughs> and it's also making more and more sense of why they removed them. I've lagged. I'm good though. Almost 5 seconds. Bye man. Time loss, shake my head? Time gain? What are you talking about? Wait. It's just redstone, but also... It could be something else in there. Hey, Larry, how are you? Oh, Alexa's right. Later, bitch. I'm out. What teleport arrows get removed? Probably balancing purposes. I don't know. The entire extra arrows mod got removed. It wasn't just the teleport arrows. What have you done? Hey, streamer. Why did the chicken cross the road? 
I would ask but I don't speak chicken. Quack, sorry for making you lag in real life. Congrats on the job? <laughs> Congrats on the lottery win? Jesus. I'll spit this off in a little bit, but Code, thank you incredibly for the 21,500 bits. Hold on a second, I need to toy with death. Hey, um, I could definitely go into a different room, but just in the case of this one getting a little bit more filled, I'm going to leave. This has been a fun vault. I'm done here. <laughs> I am, uh, I am good and content. I'm gone. I'm out. 1200 XP. Okay. You know, reasonable, all things considered. Um... 13 livings, 4 gildeds, 4 ornates, and then all of these. It didn't show up as one? I gotta check, because if not, that's something that they need to fix. It's a $25 value that should go in, is it? Halfway up on 4. Hey, something that we haven't done. We got some, uh... We got some ores. Pretty nice. Yeah, we good on everything? I think so. Yep. All right. I think we're good to go. Let's run it down. That's a three ob. Oh boy. South facing vaults. South facing exit. Not a scav. Three. I see, like, right here, imagine I have Hunter when I'm entering in and I can just see everything that's underneath. Because, like, right now, I'm spending time looking around a vault, and I got no idea where anything is. It's a nice start with a bun. Anything over here? Don't believe so. Nah. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just thinking about the possibilities, you know? Thinking about the possibilities. You over here. I don't. Oh, jeez. Oh, bad combination of mobs. That's super fun. Does anyone beat a boss yet? Not to my knowledge. No triple ding. Sad. Can't make a waypoint? Not allowed. If it was impossible. Oh, uh, no waypoints. Nope. Not allowed for us and for you guys and also not permit. I don't know if I have the levels for it. Oh, no. We'll see. Do I have the levels for the altar? I'm going to be so sad if I don't. Break the slaughter already! Oh, Jesus. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is completely fine. Everything's completely fine. Got myself into a little predicament. Ooh, thank you for that. Yeah! Sure, silver scrap. I'll take it. Uh, give me a moment. Oh, back up! I don't like having hitboxes on. Get your ass over here. Get your ass. Uh, are we back in half for this one? Yes, we are. Has to be hours of times three levels. 
Um, I don't think that's the case because the last time that I did one, I'm fairly certain that it costs around a similar amount, like 11. But I don't know if it's just level based. That makes sense. Not really sure if it does or not because I don't know if that's true or not, you know? But I don't recall the last one that I did being like two or six or whatever. I think it was in the double digits still. Any armor yet? Still only the one armor that I found yesterday. My one piece of armor that I have was an Epic Plus. I haven't found another one since. Where are you? Oh, it's just water. I thought it was like some tall log. Dude, I've been cutting down those tall trees too much, man. Uh, ooh. Oh, the baby zombie's gonna ruin my life. I'm not gonna be able to- there's no shot I'm able to get this. I did! Oh, and another XP ulcer! I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that experience ulcer and- Hey! Back it off! I got a wall behind me, bud. Yeah, 12 again. Damn. Oh. Man. Pipes! Bro, the pipe. Yo, give me that? <laughs> I will take an anvil. For use in a recipe of some kind. Thank you very much. Oh, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. I fucking hate you. Oh. I probably don't get the spawner break if I go back in there, but I'm gonna try my luck anyway. Cause I'm stupid. Oh, we're good. I'm gone. Goodbye. Let's see. Oh, God. There's boys above me. So just chasing my. Ah! That's a problem for future me. Is that a ball pickaxe? Yes. Yes, it do be. Gotta be healing a little bit more frequently than I am. I didn't upgrade all this mana for nothing. Oh, stop it. He's chasing my era? That is what I said. You are correct. I see some gold. Some coins. Need a little coin pocket back here. Please, thank you. Thank you. Just above you, Alaire. Yeah, sometimes there are. Oh, what the hell is this? Damn, tall boy in here. I gotta say, man, the way that rooms are laid out and everything now with these vaults is pretty damn cool. Like, it's the same design, you know, same build style, but the, the variety in every room is really sick. So far, man, I feel like they've done a pretty damn good job with the new vaults. And I'm liking it a lot. And it's cool, too, because, you know, when moving from Season 2 to Season 3, what was one of the biggest things that we did in Season 2? We ran vaults. A shit ton of them. So, you know... I, and I'm sure a lot of people, had this thing of like, okay, so we go into a new season, and there's some new features. Sure, that'll be fun. But it's like, if the vaults are the same, or there's like, only a few new rooms, it's not really gonna feel like a different season, if that makes sense. Or it, it might, but it's like, it'll... I don't know. 
You get the point of what I'm trying to say, basically. So I was wondering, I'm like, what are they gonna do with... You know, because I'm sure... Making all those rooms has to be fucking expensive, you know? I can't imagine how much it costs at the end of the day for all the Season 2 builds. Probably even the Season 1 builds as well, whatever the team was for that. Um... So yeah, like, I don't know. It's really cool what they've done with this, because it adds such a fresh, like... I kinda wanna kill some mobs to get level 12, just so I can... I'm gonna see if I can kill some mobs, so... Open that up. It just seems they really hit it out of the park with... ...making it feel fresh, and I don't know how much effort this all took to build. Probably a significant amount, but it's good, man. It would've felt stale? Yeah, stale is the better way of putting it. That's the word I'm looking for. Where's the, uh, where's the boys? Is it time for riding mod tonight? That's in an hour. Level 12! Uh, I don't need to bring this more. Maybe the mystery box will have something good, actually. Mystery box could have something very good. Hey, why am I frowning? I got a mystery box. And, and last time I opened a mystery box, it gave me three gorge tonight. That's pretty good. I'm a sad facing. Dude, I'm ungrateful, man. How quickly I forget. Jeez. Oh, gee. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. I can hear the pitter patters behind me. Ah! So this is really gonna mess up my navigation for getting out of the vault. <laughs> Rather take care of this now than later. I would rather take care of those now than later. To be honest with you. That's good enough. Just making sure that I'm not gonna- If I do directly come back the way I came in, that I'm not gonna have a terrible time in my day. I'm gonna check this water bit here. <gasps> oh! There's a lot of mobs down here. Fuck. That's good enough. Not sure what that was, uh, what my aim was there, but here I am. Not in melee range. You can't snowball me, bitch. The heals are insane. Yeah, leveling up the heal, even though I feel like I'm not really using heal too much. Um, it's nice. Man is not a problem. Quick cooldown. Oh my god. I don't regret my choice. Oh shit. Found you. Back off. Why are you so much faster? Hey! Stop that now. Just be using tipped arrows? Not for my standard bow, no. I want to get up there, but that's a little scary. I want those ores, though. Take care of this first.
Hop, hop. Damn, they're looking kind of dead down there. Actually, these guys aren't. Oh, you don't take fall damage, do you? Well, that's unfortunate. Ain't that just a little silly? Spawners are spawning mobs slower than yesterday. There was a change where the time in between spawns is now 280 ticks. Which is 14 seconds compared to before when it was 180 ticks, which is 9 seconds. So it's gotten a 5 second increase. God damn. So far, which season do you like more? I don't know. I didn't play this part of season two. This early part. So I have, I have zero clue. I'm absolutely loving everything about this season though. And everything seems really, really clean. And I also like that every vault is very difficult and I have to play very slow. It's good. Shouldn't have counted for time. It didn't. Nice. Um, that's two Laramar were up there. Didn't realize this one already spawned. All right, very cool. <gasps> oh, you layer more to pay night. Oh, I gotta pick it up though, you idiot. Where'd it go? There you are. Sneaky son of a bitch. Did they nerf the vaults? Vaults have not been nerfed in any way. Well, I mean, mob spawn less from spawners now. I do see a different type of chest down there. I will be going for that. That's a lot of spawners around me. Oh my god. This might get dangerous down here. Hey, a bow! <laughs> First one I see is in water. Classic. Uh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Uh, da, 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 uh, bip, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot. All right, I'm gonna. That hurts. Oh, your your arrow uh, hurts a good bit. Has anyone ever told you that? Experience ulcer, huh? Is it gonna be 12 again? Ben sign Laramar over there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. No, not while I'm here. Oh, I want to get the XP to do this altar. I got seven and a half minutes. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna get the XP for this altar easily. One bastard down there. Oh shit. I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything's okay. Everything's completely fine. Just a couple of fast boys, that's all. Uh, 
Yes, I know how Tannos Altar works. Yes, I know how they work. You can store the XP and then you can do the thing. Yes, I know. Uh, Hold on. Hey guys, how are you? I'm lagging. Quit your lagging. Oh, my first idol. Yeah, baby. Let's go, dude. And a memory powder. Sick. I got an offhand item. That's dope. Cool. Very cool. All right. Common plus ain't bad. Common plus ain't bad at all. All right. We got five and a half minutes. I'm going to backtrack the way I came. I'll figure out a better way of looting bolts, by the way. I haven't really, like, thought to myself about a methodical way, like a low anxiety risk way of navigating back to the start of vaults instead of just going down the exact path that I've already traveled. Because I lose a lot of time doing this. It essentially loses, like, the last five minutes of the vault for me. Um, I'll think of a better way, probably between today and tomorrow. Service first. Now, Jordan got an idol uh, when we were running co-op yesterday. Fortunately, he said it wasn't a very good one. But it's still, you know, your first idol. Apparently, they don't work like totems anymore. So they don't pop on a death and give you saving grace. They're just a bonus on your extra. But we'll hope we get a good one. How much does Vault Compass cost? It's one resource point. I'm not sure if I want that to be the first thing that I go into. Because also the Vault Compass itself costs a good bit. But by the time I'm actually able to make a Knowledge Point... I already looted that down there. By the time I'm able to make a Knowledge Point, maybe I'll have the resources to be able to make a Vault Compass. I just don't know if I want to do that first before anything else. We'll see when we get there. We we've got a while before we need to decide on what research we're aiming for. But yeah, I don't know. When it comes... I'm an anxious person. That's just how I generally am. So when the time gets low and I realize I got to head back and I see that clock going down, it freaks me out a little bit, you know? So maybe Vault Compass could be a, uh, you know, just a way to always have that certainty on where I need to be going. That could be really nice, you know, man? I know storage is big. Believe me, I know. Pouches and everything and the way they work for Danks. Trust me, I'm not trying to say that it's more valuable than that because you got to eventually get pouches and everything going no matter what. I forgot about you, and I literally went through this section. There's two more of them in there. Did we defeat the boss yet? No. Any opportunity other than the one co-op vault we did? I just haven't been able to find enough obes. Enough obeliskes. Obeliskes. We got a three ob in here, and I mean, I'm spending time looting, sure, but like... I haven't found a single obelisk during any of this stuff. Hey, bud. Wow, you really aggroed from a mile away, huh? It's unfortunate you only got one path to be able to travel, though, bud. Seems they're hidden from view. Well, that's another thing, too. I don't think they're just dead set in the middle of the room anymore. Minutes and I'll check one more room. See what we got on the left side here. So much progress today from vault runs. Yeah, it's been a good day of running. It's been a good day. It's hardly greeting. I'm just taking a peek. 
The fifth Alice. Thanks for the sub to see. Appreciate that. Thank you. Damn, that's probably got some fancy chests in there, but I know for a fact that I'm not be able to not gonna be able to clear that in time. All right, nothing out in the open and easy for me. We out. It's three the lowest number of obelisks. Yes, obelisks range between three and six. Put that invisible wall there, man. Thousand XP. Four thousand seven out of five K. Who is using anvils at my house? Is that from is that someone using an anvil or is that just an effect from leaving the vault? I'm getting fucking PTSD for people being in my home, man. Who is here? No one's here. I'm hearing things. I'm dead ass hearing things. I'm strip, bro. I gotta get a fucking out security camera. <laughs> Yo, what do you got for me? Okay, so the gorge tonight was a little bit better. <laughs> hey, you. Can you hear this message? Then have a good day. Success, dot, dot, dot. Take it up with Twitch, not me, brother. So I gotta deal with them. Not my fault, though. Yo, you got sparkle teen. Oh my god, I did. Damn, I wish I would've said that. Alright, hey. Um, we're starting to kind of get a couple of ores. I don't know if it's just coincidence, but... Five Benetite. One Wooda die. Another Painite. Four more Laramar. That's getting up there, man. Let's see what else we got out of this. Another one of you. Out of my head, man! I'm hearing things! What's memory powder do? Memory powder makes memory shard. Eight of them are on a red vault essence. Nine of those makes memory crystal. And five of those makes a sublime vault vision. And then partnering that up with a sublime vault elixir and a sublime vault substance with five, six infused eternal souls makes a statue. We got two of them. So we're getting there. We're, we're getting there in time. Statue question mark? I'm the same. I feel the same. It'd be interesting to know, wouldn't it? But I'm, uh, I'm a little clueless myself, I'll be honest. I'll do a little chopping. Send her home to level five, <laughs> bud. Nice. A little bit of, a uh, little bit of progression. Pretty solid on that. All right. What do we need for nine Benny again? 16 Benny. And I believe that is the, uh, forget what that is. There's something that we need for the Bennett site. I'll check it later. We're not doing any of that right now. We're level five then. We got one that's my skill point. So again, we were discussing between either getting Vein Miner and then probably spiking into Fortune. So we're able to, uh, you know, start fortuning some stuff and feel a little bit more reliable around it. Or pumping two levels into speed, which we would have to save the other one for just to be able to speed around the vaults. Or, Hunter. 
Hunter highlights either chess in a radius tradition time or observer or uh, objectives for a radius of time. Now, obviously, obviously, this isn't great. 0.5 seconds, 32 block radius. Maybe that's okay. Maybe it's not that bad. Speed is always nice, don't get me wrong. Um, Hunter might be interesting, though. And to be completely honest with you, I'm, like... I'm really trying to discover this new pack. Like, I, I have that... I got that itch to know about new things or new strats or how this works and how that works and all, you know, I want to I wanna know now. I want to know right now. I don't want to wait until level 7 or level 10 or level 15 to know about these things. So yeah, sure, speed, that'd be great for, you know, getting around a vault a little bit faster. But I already know what it's going to do. Vein Miner with Fortune. That could be great for getting some gems and making some stuff. Or just excavating a mine room or other things. But I already know what it's going to do. You know what I don't know what's going to do? Hunter. So you know what? Maybe it's not a bad shout. Good God Almighty, that does not improve nearly as much as I thought it would. Uh, so like that's that's not nearly as big of a one upgrade as imp uh, improvement as uh, other things maybe were. Um. <laughs> Nine point five second cooldown. Wow, sixteen mana cost. That's crazy. Uh, it's almost like that equals out with the cooldown and mana regeneration. <laughs> Twice as long in a radius of get this two additional blocks. Now, granted, we haven't seen how it plays out, so it actually could be good. Just the base hunter, I was curious. There's 16 levels of it, though. <laughs> Level 16 for 8 seconds. <laughs> so we'll mess around in a vault and see how hunter does play out. Um, you know, I think I think it's a good pitch. I I think that was a, uh, I think that was a good pitch. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is keybind that. What's my keybind for uh, page up right now? Let's see key. For page sort target inventory okay so we're gonna switch that off to uh hunter select and usability page up cool so we got heal on the bottom and hunter up top mana wise and health wise honestly here's the thing it uses up a little bit of mana but considering how much we've leveled up heal i think it's a good balance before with our heal having anything else use up mana uh, be kind of you know but I think there's also a part of me that is remembering how the scaling worked for Volunteer Season 2 and that Hunter had three levels and the radius was, if I remember correctly, like, it was either 32 or 48 and then it went to like 96 and then it went to like 128 to where you could basically see like everything everywhere, right? Like that's how you speed ran vaults to get like a sub 30 time. It was nuts, right? So, you know, in comparison to here, I probably got a little bit of lasting opinion on that. Maybe 32 isn't actually that bad. I don't know. I've never used it. So uh, we'll run that up in a vault. But in the meantime, we do have one thing that I need to check on before I go ahead and uh, sort through my inventory. Just so I got a clean inv when I'm doing this. Burger patties, we can go and chuck in there. Magnesite and vault scrap. Silver scrap. Got that. Got another amplifying foot. We have five of those bad boys now. It's pretty sick. Uh, we'll chuck Shulker Shell over there, Regret Nugget, Chromatic Ingot, Vault Plating, Driftwood. We got a few of those stacks now, don't we? Carbon Nugget, uh, Netherite Scrap, good. Do we have anything else in here? We got a few more things. Don't need you. 28 more Vault Dust. Pop that over there, thank you. Burger Patty, Diamond Nugget we don't need. 10 more Knowledge Essence. Okay. That's about all the loot we got. That's about all the loot we got. Okay. Shall we, uh, chuck a little gamba on the rarity of this bad boy? We're gonna do a split. Hmm. Actually, yeah, we're gonna do a little split ski. Let's do a little split ski. 
Uncommon. Rare. Epic. Omega. I'm going to give us one a, a two minute or on the prediction. One choice. Cast your votes in now. It's an uncommon plus. I don't know the rarity of getting epic, rare, or omega from an uncommon plus. I think the only one that I know offhand is if you have a epic plus, it's like a one in eight or a one in nine chance of getting an omega, that type of deal. In the meantime, let me go and see what our next crystal is going to cost to get, into our, get ourselves into a damn vault, man. I'm running out of, uh, running out of shit vault, Rob. We're going to have to go mining in a little bit to get some more of those bad boys. What do you got for me? Show me something tasty. That's the... I know what that is. I don't think I have any. Maybe I do. I don't know if I picked up any and brought it back home. But I know where, uh... I know where that's found. I just don't have it on me right now. Unless I do, but maybe I don't. I don't think I do. Do I? I have it on me? I don't think I do. Pretty sure if I would have had it, I would have thrown it out. Because I didn't feel it would be valuable. We can go, uh... Down in the caves to grab up those, but in the meantime... I'm gonna need to get a sugarcane farm set up. Otherwise, everything else we got enough of. I don't have enough sugarcane, so I want to plant that around my base and make sure that I got that on lock. So this vault's gonna take a little bit to actually get into. Understandable. Not too bad. <clears throat> H has some. Good for H. That's cool. Rip uncommon. It can't be uncommon. Wait. Are common and uncommon the same? Aren't com- There's five tiers of things. There's scrappy, common, rare, epic- Is uncommon a- th wait. So un uncommon is not a thing. That's not a thing. It's scrappy, common, rare, epic, omega. It's it's the same thing. Uncommon doesn't exist. Bro, did I get like fucking MCC Island prediction writing mixed up? I hate my life. Right. Um, I played this game in season two a little for a couple of days, probably. All right. Uh, we roll. Hello, Valera. And that would be a comment. Hunger Immunity. And Weakness Cloud. For all of the, uh... For all of the times that I'm gonna be real hungry. Is there... Can you... Yeah, no. Wait, can you? No, I would need to re-roll... Reforge all prefixes and suffixes. But implicits are... Dude, we got 961 durability. And that's 800-1600. <laughs> <laughs> uh... No, we don't have a uh, an additional suffix, so we can't add a new random modifier. Let's see if we can mess with this at all, possibly? Where's my plating? Where's my bronze? Thank you. Let's see. Oh, I need my actual uh, things. Give me those. Okay. And then just complete so I understand here. Yeah, it's just not a possible thing. Okay, right. Uh, so we can reroll the weakness cloud. I mean, I have... What does it cost? One vault plating and ten vault bronze? I mean, that's fine. I have, I have plenty of bronze. So my first vault idol... 
check other options. I mean, it doesn't matter. I don't have, uh, I don't have those things. So. All right. Um. Someone banned the guy that said, what's the worst that could happen? Odds. Mods. That's a little better. That's a little better. Additional eight mana. Nice. Right around the time that we got a uh, that we got another ability that costs mana. Cool. We're getting a mage build going on. I got 10 mana on my helmet. I got 8 mana on my off hand. <laughs> Sick, dude. All right. Well, hey, I'm going to be content with that one. I don't want to spend that many wild focuses on it. And it doesn't have an additional socket or anything like that. So, you know what? Hey, it's not bad. All right, well, we got to do this real quickly, so let's go ahead and run this down real fast while I'm launching Ragnamod. Last raffle in! I just want to run a submarine real fast here. Get your raffles in. After the submarine is over, we're going to be hopping over to Ragnamod with uh, Zena Jordan. I see a couple of skins. Might be biased, but I'm kind of rooting for the skins. Coffee not taking any damage until just comes up behind them and just clottering their health. That's just getting outclassed. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on. We got a few skins in the game. Damn, four skins. So there's only going to be one left after this, Mosh. Oh, boy. Okay, you know, check his... Check him PC. Oh! It's not enough help! <laughs> zero, zero, two, nine, seven. See you in the arena. Stonings can only be found in Mushroom Biome, and where other mobs don't naturally spawn. No, I've found Stonings in plenty of other areas. Doesn't have to just be there. Foreskin? I see Budge. No help at all. See you in the arena. Alright, 86 gladiators. Let's get some gear. <laughs> 17 armor, 46. That's a lot of mana, actually. We can heal a good bit as well, too. Oh, jeez. 25% mana? 7 health. The mana's better. The mana's definitely better. I'm gonna go with this for the HP. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty nice. That's pretty good. Plus mana on percentage mana already? It's not too oh my oh my god, it's only five armor though. Oh, the chaining and the damage. Oh my God, man. I mean, I got to go with those. No shield, unfortunately. What do we not have? We don't have legs. We're not going to get any legs. Oh boy. Wait a minute. We're going to, we're going to be lacking something here. We're going to be lacking something here. We're going to be lacking something on this. We've already got a significantly better weapon than any... 8.5? God damn. Everything else we're pretty good on already. 
Poison two, plus two cloud, Jesus. Sweeping hit chance? Alright, this is probably uh, not gonna go too well for me with no block chance. Three chaining attack. And a poison two cloud. I wonder if this works with a poison two cloud in the offhand. It shouldn't. <laughs> it shouldn't work, but I'm curious if it does. I was patched early on in season two when Leech was the biggest thing with axes. Running away immediately. Get them into a chain, get them into a chain, get them into a chain. I've ran into a wall. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, guys, I mean, guys, I, guys, guys, I mean, guys, like, guys, guys, guys. Guys. Yes. <laughs> Weasel, thank you for the uh, ass whooping. I appreciate it immensely. I'm going to be stuck at 85 gladiators for the remainder of time. Godspeed to you. Thank you for that one, Chief. <laughs> um, got my champion statue. Got my champion ticket. All right, cool. All right, so that's going to go ahead and do it for Vault Hunters for today. I will be live, of course, tomorrow 